Ah, oh, what an That's... art that just looks like it's, it's something to get involved with. And it seems like a fun interactive thing uh, for pregnant and expectant mums as well. But listen, uh, winter officially begins tomorrow. And that means it's time for us to reassess. We know that the cooler months, they come with a whole host of challenges for our skin. Uh, we're talking discoloration. We're talking dryness um, and a whole sorts of others. But fear not because our beauty and fashion editor, Nick Strelitz. Ooh, should I add the beauty I love bit? That. Beauty and fashion. You're my boss. I mean, you're the guy. You're I'll the take guy. It. You do that. Give me an upgrade. Just been given Give me an upgrade. a promotion. Next toilets <laughs> is here to make sure that we are in on what to be doing with our skin yes. during these times. Uh, because it's time for us to get into those day-to-day -day routines that are switched up a little bit for the cooler days. It right? is Leanne. Oh, I mean to be so. I'm so sorry. Um, I just got transported for a second. Okay. Cool. Listen, it, I look like Leanne. Well, it's a beauty segment. She's mm. a beauty girl. I'm so sorry. Okay. Cool. Okay. No problem. So, yes. Nick. Yes. Winter skincare, yeah. what's the deal there? So it really does, I think a lot of us take for granted that with the change in seasons, they really do bring a whole new set of challenges mm. that we actually must meet because winter can be really, really hard on one's skin, particularly yeah. when you think about things like air temperature. Mm -hmm. Durr, it yeah. gets colder as we go into winter, right? Yes. But as the air temperature drops, so does the humidity level. Now the humidity in summer is what keeps our skin looking dewy. It's that real fresh summertime mm. glow. So in winter, zaps, it's gone. Okay. Things like wind, yeah. did you know the wind? It's terrible for your skin to be so. No, I didn't know. Listen, we're learning things today, as well as indoor air. So any sort of central heating or any yeah. heating external that we have, again, dries out um, the skin. It yeah. depletes the natural protective barrier that the skin has, which in the summer months is at its fullest. So things like that as well. Okay. Certainly skin types as well. People think because you have an oily skin generally, you're safe from um, the loss of hydration, loss of yeah. moisture. Not but so, not. says Deborah Jamin, who's a top dermatologist in New York City. She yeah. said, quote, in the cold, your skin attempts to conserve heat by constricting blood vessels, okay. which in turn dries out the outer layers of the skin. Mm. Trust is a New York City happens? dermatologist, okay. right? All right. But that really is something we need to think about because winter means no-no for skin and we have to adapt okay, for so the months. How do yeah. we get that summertime glow yeah. uh, during the cooler months? I'm not sure, actually. Okay, well, why are you here? Oh, sorry, right. I, I, sorry, yeah, okay. Get out there. Good question. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to be giving you some top tips and tricks courtesy of one of our top makeup artists mm. to the stars, Bernice, Bernice. as well. Hey, Bernice. And we've got Anel from our makeup team as well, being our beautiful Linda Evangelista, Heidi Klum, <laughs> Giselle. She's all types. It's Naomi Campbell. It's everyone in one. Yeah. Talk through some key looks and, and trends that are must for winter and winter complexion. Okay. So first, we're going to start with a primer. Mm. Now this from Smashbox is the Photo Finish Primer. Yeah. Now what a primer water spray does is it sets the skin, yes, it sets the makeup on the skin, giving okay. you longer lasting makeup for the day, but oh. even more than that, it's hydrating. So it's it doesn't dry out over time throughout the day. Absolutely, Tab, mm. so absolutely. So what you'd wanna do with this spray like this is actually spray it before you actually have that first bit of makeup on. Okay. And you continue to spray it throughout the course of the application, mm. and we'd finish the look as well with this as well. Okay. So you can see that dewy skin, which is really, really in right now, um, yeah. and it certainly is a summertime feature. Okay. So once we've got the primer done, we move on to foundation. Okay, so the primer would go on before the foundation. Naturally. Absolutely. So okay, step cool. one is the primer spray, then we okay. do foundation. This is a beautiful one by W Beauty. It's mm. long wear. Now what's integral to your foundation in winter is cream, ba cream based. Mm. Emollient. Emollient is just another word for sort of oil based or cream. You need a heavier foundation for winter, obviously. Okay, so Longer there's a different lasting. type of foundation. Absolutely. Okay. And built in SPF, which is amazing. It's mm. a skin savior. People think in winter, I'm not hot, I'm not sweating, I don't need SPF, True. but you do, you need it day in, day out, every yeah. day. So again, it's just about full face coverage, yeah. and what a cream-based foundation does is it gives you longer lasting full coverage okay. from top to toe. And it lasts longer, is that why it's called long wear? You are so smart. I'm asking. Oh, oh my gosh. Is it a no, you are. Listen, listen, I'm proud we of you. We work together. Absolutely. Long wear does mean longer lasting, okay, which, cool. is a, which is something that comes innately with a cream based foundation. So, mm. as opposed to a powder foundation or something not as sort of matte or heavier, yeah. which you would use in your summer, because in summer you're sweating, right? Yes. You're hot. You yeah. don't want something ultra covering and ultra dense. Okay. But in winter, we need that, All particularly right. because the protect, protective barrier against our skin has depleted. Cool. What so, else once we need? do foundation, okay, we move on to a cream blush. So this is to impart, obviously, some life into those cheeks, yeah. a little color, color. Yeah. So what we're using, which is a top beauty hack. Yeah. Listen, ladies, men, if you want a bit of extra color, you actually don't need a cream blush um, per se. Use okay. a lipstick. 
We have a W Beauty Hydro Lip Is that what Lipstick. Bernice is using Yes, now. which is amazing. Wow. So it really is about two, three, three different wears in one product. Okay. So you buy your lipstick, you can actually use it to bronze up those cheeks as well. Mm. So again, we're adding in the areas that we need the sort of popping color, the rouge, which generally is the high cheekbone, yeah. a little rosy cheek. But look how it brings sort of life. I was about to say, I'm literally watching Anel just transform right in front of us. She here. is transforming. Right us. I love it's it. It's insane. So I'm seeing that creamy seems to be coming through a lot. So yeah. all the creamier products mean that they, they deliver a, a more summertime glow, which is what we're looking for. Yeah, well, not necessarily the summertime glow, but what the cream does, it means it stays on longer, longer. and it okay, permeates cool. the skin. Because the skin is ultra sensitive in winter, we yeah. need something that's that much more dense, something mm. that gives and permeates through to the, the, the level of the epidermis. Okay, epidermis, cool. I am, you wow. are You and Dr. Darren Green, Bill you Nye went the to the science same school, guy basically. coming yeah. out real hard right now. <laughs> okay, so now once we've done the nice, beautiful rouge, we move on to a glossy lip. Mm. Okay, so this glossy lip is courtesy of W Beauty. Yeah. It's a sort of shimmer lip gloss as well, which is really beautiful. So what we do in summer tabs with lips is we generally yeah. go for a more matte lipstick. Okay. Yes. But because we're doing winter, it's mm -hmm. really is about getting that soft glow, mm. which comes with a shimmer gloss. We're keeping it nude. It's cotton candy flavor. Uh, okay. Don't eat it. Um, it's, <laughs> and now it don't good. eat it. And now what did I tell you about <laughs> eating the lip gloss? I tell her every day she doesn't care. She doesn't listen to me. But I, what I love she's about, still here. Yeah, she's still here. What I love about a nude lip gloss or something pinky as well is it stays really true to the natural color of the skin. Okay. So it's not too forced. It's not too overdone. This is a really good day to day. Yeah. And you just want to apply like Bernice is doing as well with a little brush as well which mm. gives sort of extra it's more concise to the actual formation of the lips. I can see the glow coming through. What do we do with the eyes? Listen, okay, she's got half her face done yeah, right now. Yeah, I saw that parlor tone situation going yeah. on there. I wasn't so sure. So listen, we're talking the graphic eye tabs. And much like the glossy lip, the graphic eye is really big on the runways from Autumn Winter 19. We okay. saw it in London, Milan, Paris, and New York City. Mm. So this is just having lots of fun. And what you do with this, it's a two-step application. Okay. You'd use a W Beauty liner a regular liner to create those beautiful marks that start from the base of the lid and yes. permeate down. Mm -hmm. You don't want to go too far down because you're going to look crazy. Yeah. You're going to look like you you're going to the that. circus. Yeah. No, this is very, very much uh, day to day. It mm. is a statement, but why not have fun? Yeah. Then what you use is this beautiful volume one, which is by Sir John. It's mm. his collaboration with W Beauty. Mm. It's a liquid shimmer um, liner, excuse me, and it actually goes over the marks we've made with the pencil. Mm -hmm. Just gives a bit more boldness and depth. Mm. It's, it's very harping back to sort yeah. of 60s Twiggy yeah. era, Google Twiggy. Yeah. Very sort of um, 60s swing in London, which yeah. I love. And you can see the rest of the look for winter, it's it's still demure. It's simple, but it's it simple. still has such a strong impact at the same time. Absolutely. And so is this what the key. final look would more or less look like? Yeah, so we're going to go quickly over with a bit more of the, the Volume 1 uh, okay. Sir John actual uh, liquid liner, yeah. just to get that full effect. You really want it to pop. What other things could you use this liquid liner for? Well, I mean, generally it is used for the eyes. Yeah. So again, you could do a beautiful um, shadow as well, something yeah, on the top li yeah. of the liner, which she actually has on right now, you mm -hmm. can see. Um, the, uh, what's really beautiful about the Volume 1 range, yeah. it's, it's very emollient and shimmery, um, yeah. and it's long-lasting as well, which is key for winter look. Nice. You really need it to last from day to night yeah. and in between. And now, uh, honestly, <laughs> transforms to like a swan. Speechless. Honestly, like a swan. it's just beautiful. <laughs> You're a gorgeous I really swan. love it. You've got that summertime glow. Yeah. There you have it. Uh, your go-tos when it comes to retaining the glow during the cooler months and the cooler days of winter. Thank you so much, Nick. Welcome. Thank you, Anel, and thank you so yes. much, Bernice. Head on over to our Expresso Facebook page and get those tips, tips, tricks, and hacks. They're all there.